Well, here we are, another season almost behind us with Lisa Miller out here at Ducat, the Warren location. Everybody knows the Canfield location too, but Lisa, good friend of ours here on Valley Spotlight. How are you? Great. Good to see you again. Thanks first, for coming out. I say it's first things first. The last time that we visited uh, with Lisa it was with your mom, Lucy, and she at 98, she's gone on to greener pastures. She has. Uh, she's with my mom, or excuse me, she's with my dad yeah. mowing Mowing. Lawns and blowing snow in heaven. That's what someone told me. So I, I think that's a nice way of looking yeah, at it. But it our is. condolences Thank and you. we were so glad to meet her and have, you know, be able to tell your story. And so we're gonna continue that Thank as you. we move forward. Because this year, these forecasts, I feel like if I look at one more snow accumulation total on my phone, I might just jump out of my own skin. You guys here have been so busy. It's been crazy. Uh, we weathered the storm very well. I don't know if you saw my Facebook video, but Lauren may feature it. Oh uh, yes, it's going to air right now. Tom and I were <laughs> right now. <laughs> Tom and I were out here with two Toro snowblowers, and I'm telling you, you don't realize the power and the reliability of those products until you use them hands on. And we, our lot got plowed in the middle of the night. We got here, there was another 12 inches of snow, and we did it. We had to get our customers in here and take care of our customers. You know, we're here for those little disasters or big disasters, whatever they may be, snowfall, trees down, power outages, all that stuff. And all that occurs with snow. Yes. You know, so that's just not in a tornado season or anything like that. Snow is a different animal. It, it wreaks havoc on everything. Not only does it wreak ha havoc on everything, but our, our actual physical selves. The kinds of snows that we've had this year have been extremely heavy. And you have seen, we have seen, we have heard people out there trying to muscle their way through it. And it was next to impossible this year. I mean, it's I, like, that's a scare. It's a scary sentence to say, but to have people that you know and you love to out there, to be out there shoveling the kinds of snow that we've had this year is not, not cool. No, I, I, I always equate it to, you know, it, is it worth having a heart attack or dying for $500? No. It's just not. No. I, I, it's a, you know, it's, it's a necessary evil and sometimes I've had people say, well, I'm going to buy a snowblower and now it won't snow. But guess what? When it does, you're ready. Yeah. And even those little Toros, uh, they cut through that darn snow this year. It was crazy. I used a little one right up here by the building, and a, Tom and I used large ones out in the in the parking lot, and it how, moved it. I gotta ask, how many did you guys sell with that one big one that we had? I gotta <laughs> ask the numbers. You know me. A lot. 450. 450. Mm -hmm. And while the whole world is on back order, we can't get our hands on anything. How have you guys been able to manage that? I have it like that's just to walk in and to not be able to give something that they need must be a hard spot for you guys to be in. It is. And when we can't get a product, especially in an emergent situation like that, it breaks my heart because then you are running the risk of anyone, whether it's a long-standing customer or somebody who just walked through the door, possibly injuring themselves or dying because I didn't have the piece of equipment that they needed. That's heavy. And that's hard. That's heavy. And we have been in this business for 75 years this year, thanks to my dad. Yeah. And um, it's, it's heartbreaking when we can't get that product, but I'm going to tell you, that's why you come here. We have a relationship with these manufacturers that is second to none. And they are, they respect us and we respect them. And we need, when we need something, we can get it. That is, um, I think, the most powerful statement that you can say. Now, Fred and I have been to the Lowe's and the Home Depots for a million reasons over the past year. And we still see people buying from the big box stores. And it's like, this, the, the same thing that you buy there is the same price here. But what you get here, is completely different and, and the reason is because you have a full team that's going to make sure that whatever people buy here is taken care of. Exactly. And that's the thing. We are here. We're committed to this valley. We're committed to our employees. We're committed to the community. And if 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 they didn't reciprocate, we wouldn't be here. That's okay. okay. But I think we're we're well respected because we do a good job and we do what we do. Let's hope spring is coming because 
goodness knows we all want to see these things out on the lawn instead of the snow blowers. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed we might be through it. Well, yeah. there might be just a little bit more coming. There's a but, little bit you know, more, but that's okay. That's I don't right. have hardly any snow blowers left, so if you need some, get it now. Lisa. And the best time of year to buy a snow blower is when it's not snowing. So let's like think. Think August, ahead. September. Think ahead. Yep. And Come don't in. Free layaway. Don't be afraid to, <laughs> to ask these folks any questions here in Warren as well as in Canfield. Lisa, happy 75 years. You guys are tremendous and we're very grateful for your support and everything that you guys do to keep us all safe. Well, we're very grateful for you too. Thank you very much.